Tonight, NASA has confirmed that after 36 years in space, Voyager 1 has left the solar system as we know it. That's farther than any man-made object has gone before. Into interstellar space about 11.5 billion miles away. NASA says just in case it runs into intelligent life, it's carrying a gold-plated phonograph record with some photos and songs from back home on planet Earth. We have ignition and we have liftoff. The start of a journey that would take Voyager 1 to the very edge of our solar system and beyond. Farther into the solar system than ever before. The spacecraft is now the first human-made object to have left the vicinity of our sun and entered a completely new region of space. This is the man who's led Voyager's scientific mission from the beginning, 36 years ago. He says its step into interstellar space ranks among humanity's greatest achievements. In the days before the World Wide Web, people packed into planetariums to watch Voyager's images come in. Seen for the first time in incredible detail, the red spot of Jupiter, a raging storm three times the size of Earth on the planet's surface. These images of Saturn's shimmering rings inspired a generation, and a look back to see how far the spacecraft has come. The Earth, a pale blue dot in the middle of the screen. <laughs> At its launch, Voyager carried messages from world dignitaries such as then US President Jimmy Carter, as well as sounds and music to communicate with any life form it might come across. 36 years and nearly 19 billion kilometers later, Voyager is still sending signals back to Earth. Voyager 1 is still traveling at a speed of 60,000 kilometers per hour. The spacecraft will continue to send data back to Earth until around 2020, when it's expected to run out of power. The plutonium-powered Voyager's original mission was to study the outer planets of the solar system. But after completing its first task, it just kept on going. We're in a truly alien environment. The material in which Voyager finds itself is not created by the sun. It's created, in fact, by, by our neighboring stars, um, supernova remnants, and so forth. And so Voyager, in, in some very real sense, is, is material that's not from the medium in which it finds itself. So we've truly crossed over. Well, NASA finally got enough data together, and it's still sending back signals that they finally were able to say today that, yes, indeed, Voyager has left the solar system a year ago. Last August, it entered interstellar space, and it is going to reach the nearest star to where it is now uh, on its current path in 40 thousand years wow. wow and then and then you have this guy project scientist ed stone he talked at this you know mega press conference from nasa tell me his story yeah. Great story. Ed Stone has been the chief project scientist since before Voyager lifted off 40 years ago. So at the press conference today, you could tell he was really like a very proud papa. Well, the sun creates a bubble around itself, which envelops all the planets, and in fact provides a sort of a shield between us and what's outside in interstellar space between the stars. So this is the first time we've had a spacecraft leave the bubble and enter interstellar space so we can determine what's really out there uh, trying to get in uh, to this bubble. We were very fortunate that there was a, a large storm uh, on the sun which like a tsunami wave uh, propagated out to where Voyager 1 is, out at the very edge of the bubble. We know precisely where we are. We're about 125 times as far from the Earth as the sun is. Uh, and, uh, and we're headed in a particular direction uh, uh, toward, inter toward interstellar space where we are now, uh, have now arrived. 